What happens if you spend at least 20 minutes outside every single day? In 2017, I set out to find out. Welcome to the Humans Outside Weekly Diary, where I tell you my own lessons from a life spent outside. What did I do and learn while going outside this week? That and this week's real outdoor hero, up next. There are some things people don't say about me. Or maybe there are some things people do say about me, but I wish they'd say it less. Or I wish they'd say it as a compliment, not as a qualifier. Here's an example. Amy loves rules. Yes, that's true. I think rules help me chase what I want in life. They give me structure. They make me feel calm. But most people, when they say someone loves rules, when they say Amy loves rules, usually they mean that person isn't flexible and can't live in the moment. They say, Amy loves rules, as if those are bad things. And so I work to be flexible, to keep a mindset of abundance, that there's more than enough of whatever is in the world for me and that we don't need rules for every single thing. I want to be someone who can pivot to something outside the schedule or rules I've created for my day or even for my time spent outside. I want to be flexible, but it's hard. You know I love structure challenges. It's why I started out to see what would happen if I went outside every day for a year. I don't need a plan for every moment, per se. I just crave rules around what I should expect from any given day. And most of those rules involve having a plan. I like having an idea of what I'm going to do throughout the day. And I adore the idea of a training schedule built against any goal. For example, hiring a coach to help me with my running was one of the best things I've ever done. No more willy-nilly going out there and doing whatever run felt good in the moment. Now we have rules. That works well for me. Sometimes. We'll get to that. Maybe it doesn't work well for you. That's okay. So now let's talk about intentionality for a second. Intention isn't rules so much as it is a mindset. What are you focused on for today? What do you want out of this moment, out of this time outside? How do you feel like living right now? It's pausing to think things through. It doesn't require planning. It doesn't require rules. It's just thought. Okay, unless you're me. And then very quickly, intentionality becomes a code word for rules. Intentionality, when I abuse it, is me setting rules for my day, for how I expect things to go, how I want nature to act when I head into it, and how I want to receive it. And that's where it gets rotten. I take intentionality and smack it around until it looks like me trying to control all of the situations. So why is that important and why is it something I'm thinking about right now? Two things. First, On episode five of Humans Outside season four, I've got the amazing Christina Dunbar, founder of the Intentional 10 Method, joining me to talk about that word, intention, but also about why taking time to set those intentions enables us to get outside. It's not because of the rules, as I said, it's because of the thought. Intention equals purposeful thought. Next, I am forced to confront the idea that when I head outside with intentionality, turn it into rotten rules and try to inflict that on nature, things aren't going to go very well for me. Nature does not follow my rules. It's not going to give me the thing I've decided it should, and it's not going to abide by my expectations. Instead, it's going to do whatever it's going to do. Sure, nature has its own rules, usually. There are, for example, seasons, there's average temperature, there's sunrise and sunset, there's the fact that animals typically behave in one way or another, and then there are exceptions to all of those things and how they appear and impact you and me. And there's only one for sure. Nature is not going to bend to my expectations, and it's not even sorry. And that means that to keep myself from eternal frustration and to make sure I actually get all of the goodness nature has for me, I need to do this one thing. I need to control my intentionality. I, without a doubt, believe that intentionality is the key to successful day-by-day habit keeping. It's the key to getting out of life the things we feel driven to pursue. It's the action, the thought, that gives us the ability to chase the God-given gift of ambition or drive or purpose or whatever word you want to use. 
But if when I abuse it and turn it into the rules at every single chance, I set myself up not for just disappointment, but also for failure. Because the rules are never actually going to control the fun. They're always going to leave me feeling like things could have been better had I just put my hands forward, palms up, figuratively at least, to receive whatever is there for me instead of grabbing at the world to get what I see as it flits by. So that's why I'm looking to live this week with open intentionality. If you want to see how that's going, you can spy on my daily outdoor time by following me on Humans Outside on Facebook and Instagram. It's a special kind of autumn gorgeous here right now in Alaska, and these colors are worth seeing if you ask me. I, as always, want to see what you've got going on outside wherever you are, and you can share that with me on Facebook or Instagram by using hashtag humansoutside365. Until next time, we'll see you out there.